dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with Marvel's Battle of the Atom, followed by Batman Arkham Origins, and then for our focal point, Relic Runners. That's right. Our animation this week is G.I. Joe Renegades, and our movie is The Lone Ranger. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is the 11th and we're taking a look at the event, kind of micro event, uh, celebration of X-Men, what, 50 years, right? Yeah, something like that. Uh, Battle of the Atom. That's right. And this is one of those comics that spans several titles. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in the little corner you'll see this is chapter one, this is chapter two. Yeah, and I was, I guess we might as well just say it now. That is fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad they did that. I wish they would do that with all their stupid series, like uh, Fear Itself. It's yeah. just kind of explosion everywhere, although that might not be quite as, you know linear kind of thing right he's talking um, about putting the chapter number yeah, in the corner yeah the chapter because again they span several books so it's really nice to be like oh yeah I'm, i need chapter five and then doo -doo -doo -doo. okay well that's wolverine and the x-men you know yeah kind of thing. so anyway and in fact proceed. i think chapter five is wolverine and it the is um so yeah so the titles that this one spans is uh x-men i mean uh well the book itself yeah the book itself the original x-men battle of the atoms which counts as chapter one then you have all new x-men uh regular x-men uncanny x-men wolverine and the x-men and i Think that's all of them? Yes. 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 And Wolverine and the X Men I actually got digitally because I'm not following that book, and I kind of was like, okay, well I'll get them, and then oh, well, they were all sold right. out. So. so Wolverine and the X Men I believe was five and nine. Nine. nine yes. Five and nine. Five and nine. Yeah. So those are the ones we don't have physically. Yes. Um. So basically, the story is, uh, you have Beast, the present Beast, who goes back in time and brings the original X Men into the into the into the present, uh, to talk to to have. Old Scott Summers talk to new Sc or present Scott Summers about you know what he's doing because everyone's upset with Scott. That's about, that's basically yeah. the Bendis storyline from uh, All New X Men. Right, right. So so his his main goal is to kind of remind the everyone what the X Men was about, what they were trying to do, and it's a very interesting story because a lot of time travel happens in this one, a lot. So you have and and there's there's several different factions. I guess you have past. Uh, X-Men, you have present X-Men, then you have two future X-Men, and you're trying to figure out which one's which. Uh, it's just kind of crazy. Plus, you get to see uh, how the characters evolve and some of the powers evolve, but I don't want to give too much away. Yeah, and who dies. Right, right. Um, but, of course, with all that time travel, something bad happens to the time stream, and they've got to correct it. And what I like... Well, I guess I shouldn't say that because I, that would be in direct reference to the end of it, and I'm trying not to give anything away. So why don't you just go ahead and take it away? Well, um, I'm a huge lover of the X Men. They're, they've always been great. Uh, I like this late, you know, latest version of them, um, all female. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm enjoying that book, but that's pretty still pretty young that book. Uh, so this really dominated that storyline for a while. So it's, I'm interested to see where it goes now, right. especially because one of them left. I guess that's kind of a spoiler, but I'm going to tell you which one. Um, but anyway, um, but otherwise, you know, I've also enjoyed uh, Bendis's, you know, all new X-Men, although I was really skeptical at first, but I've been enjoying it. And the Uncanny X-Men I've been enjoying as well. Um, we kind of, AVX, we were kind of like, ah, eh, we're not all that impressed. It kind of does that stupid Marvel thing where it's like, doo -doo -doo, everything's fine. Yep. And uh, But then they had consequences, which other people were like, oh, that's stupid, don't even bother, because it's like attacked on whatever. Actually, it had some meat, and it actually kind of you know, gave you more perspective on, on Cyclops and where he is now kind of thing. And so I've really enjoyed that Uncanny X-Men book and reading them along each other. Um, it is weird that some of the characters overlap. In fact, like, Rogue is in, like, three different books, and she's also, like, in, in the Avengers book kind of thing. So mm -hmm. it's, like, it doesn't make sense, really, that way. How is she everywhere? They have a lot of fucking time, apparently. Yeah. Anyway, um, other than that, uh, I think it's a pretty fun little thing. Um, it does suffer, spoiler, kind of. It suffers from the same damn thing, where it's kind of like, doo -doo, everything's fine, you know, kind of. Yeah, I was I was going to kind of disagree with that, but I, do, I can't disagree with it without giving out too much information. It, it'll be interesting to see where it goes, because yes. there are kind of echoes of what they've experienced, and so we'll see. We'll, we'll see, again, if it really affects them much. I did think it was kind of lame, though, that it was like, see, I can't really spoil that either, but there are certain people that are supposed to go back or forward in time, and they don't, right. and it's kind of like, okay, well, we'll just 
continue the comic series until we figure that out. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, so it, it, it's kind of an obvious, uh, well, we're going to keep doing that book, but we wanted to do this fun little little uh, storyline in the in, you know, in the middle. Right. And for the most part, it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable to see, you know, the different generations of X-Men and kind of some iterations of characters that you know now and that, you know, we might have seen in the past or in the future already. And now we see, like, even more in the future kind of thing. And I, I was really hoping that they'd tie in, um, um, you know, one of my favorite books, uh, Age of Apocalypse. Um, and I could see where they might be able to do that, but they didn't do it. Like, they really could have. Yeah. With Jean Grey and kind of yeah they could have done it but they didn't um i know that's kind of like the ultimate universe though a different you know a different dimension or whatever different reality um but anyway overall i did enjoy the book very much i do think it is essential to have all of them yes i don't think there's any of them that you can read because a lot of these you know sometimes you can just miss a couple and it's not a big deal if they you know jump to another book you just miss that you kind of get wrap up or whatever uh, but this it's not that way because Wolverine and the X-Men are, is a book that I'm not really following. And those two books are pivotal and actually action-packed, like really cool books. So um, I can kind of say that for all of them, though. Uh, so I, I think that if you're interested in it, if you love the X-Men, Battle of the Atom, you should check them all out. There's only ten chapters, so it's yes. not huge. Yes, uh, uh, but it so, will it will continue after that. Will um, it? Well, I mean, only, well, not not in this sense, but in the other books, they will, you know, in the regular. No, time I thought line. you were saying Battle of the Atom. No, no, no. no. The, 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 the the story doesn't stop at the end of this. There's still more to learn because not everything has been resolved, and you're still wondering what's going to happen, and you're trying to figure out how things can be prevented to be. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to give anything away. So, Just, are you feeling the same way? Yes, I believe that this is a great series. Uh, I. I I like that they went from for different titles. They they put this book in different titles, but I'm actually I'm kind of upset about it as well because I would have liked them all to be Battle of the Atom and, and as opposed to this is Chapter Three in New X Men. Um, I just kind of they do really it. they they do a good job of making the focus shift from book to book to right. characters that are in that book. Right. So I have I, yeah I kind of like it. I'm just really glad that they put that stinking chapter on there so I yeah. can follow them easily. I was already following most of the, you know, three out of the four books anyway, but just having that is, is really nice, and they should really take a page from that and learn, you know, pun intended, I guess. Right. Um, but yeah, you definitely get to see a lot more of the characters, especially mm, in the future. The yellow border also gave it away. Yeah. In the future versions uh, of the X-Men, you get to see the different characters, and... He, well, Some of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you get to wonder, oh, how did they turn out to be like that? You know, and, oh, yeah, that's and cool, how'd that happen? There's some information that is given or gleaned off of the travel, you know, time travelers, right. and then some that they're like, no, we can't tell you, otherwise, right. you know, whatever. So, but they yeah. tell them anyway, it's so funny. Not like really. Yeah, I mean, I mean the, the one was like, uh, oh, well, oh, I was about to give it away. And then, like, just, like, another two panels, and it's like, they hint at it even more, and you're just like, oh, come on. Yeah, but they have to tell us, not... Not them, so it's kind of tricky. So there is, I guess there is something kind of contrived about the, oh, let's send them back, but no, we can't because the, you know, the comic needs more time. Or right, whatever. yeah, and that was never explained why they couldn't. Yeah, and hopefully they'll come up with something good, but yeah, I mean, so it's not without its minor issues, but overall. Right, very and nice. this may sound very cryptic as far as what we're saying here because we don't want to give we're it away, to but... Them. But yeah, just read the series. It's a great series. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I just couldn't put it down. It was great. Oh, good. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know you'd be that into it. I thought you'd kind of zone in on that thing where it's like doo -doo -doo, everything's about fine. But well, see, it's a see, little different. I was. I was waiting to see that happen, but it doesn't. It doesn't get all tightly kneaded kneaded up in a nice bun. A bun. Wrapped, Delicious steam bun. Wrapped bowl. up. Wrapped up in a Gravy. nice bow. Sweet. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You, you need know what. bows on your bun. Wait. Well, I misspoke before, Bondo. and you're just running with it now. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so the series is great. I say check it out. Uh, it's it the four titles, the origin, the the one issue of Battle of the Atom, and then uh, all new X Men, X Men, and then Uncanny X Men. Oh, and then Wolverine and the X Men. Yes. So it's five titles. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot. Um... Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube and uh, follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art prints, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. And also, we're making our big transition across country. We are working for an outfit called Game Salute. 
So we both got jobs there, and we're really looking forward to it. Uh, they do a lot of indie game development. Anyway, we'll, we'll tell you more about that, but we just wanted to let you know because we're kind of in transition here. Again, we're packing up and uh, moving cross-country. So please yep. forgive us and bear with us as we kind of find our new uh, West uh, Coast, pace. East Coast. Yeah, but uh, we'll try to get these dual reviews out uh, as we can. So if you have any questions, let us know. All right, guys. See you later. Nice. Coming up on Do a Review, it's Batman Arkham Origins. Yeah. <laughs> the computer's down there. That's why it's funny. Because my butt would crush it. <laughs> sure. Hey guys, welcome to Do a Review. We got a great week starting off with Brick. The sandwich. Brick the sandwich? Mmm. That's a good brick. Hey everybody, today is the 28th and we're taking a look. Taking a look. Taking a look. I was thinking about it, if we don't have a lot of time, um, I, I'm having a hard time finding uh, a location that's super close. So we could, we could actually do it in the truck. Might be fun. We need to do it in the truck. Like literally have two of my iPhones. They're actually pretty decent. And I don't I have old iPhones now, so I don't have any other use for them. Set them in each corner of the trick cab and just review shit. While we're driving? Yeah. Because I might not have time to do it all official-like. That could be fun. 